The NPP says it is wrong for the main opposition party, the NDC, to blame recent attacks on persons they describe as their supporters on the NPP members and the president, Nanai Kufu Addo. At a media briefing in Accra, the NPP's deputy general secretary said the police must arrest anyone who violates the laws of the land. For the past three weeks, there have been a number of reports about alleged MPP members attacking NDC members in part of the country and also forcibly taking over public properties and state installations. This, the main opposition party alleges, is the doing of the MPP and the president, Nana Kufuado. However, the MPP has vehemently denied these accusations. According to the deputy general secretary of the MPP, Nana Obribwahin, the party has not and will never sanction such unruly behavior. But he mentioned that such developments are reprisal because MPP supporters after the 2008 general elections suffered brutal attacks from alleged NDC members, which went unpunished by the state institutions mandated by law to ensure law and order. Eight years ago, two land cruisers belonging to Nana Adudankwa Akufuado, the president, were forcibly taken over by NDC foot soldiers and were only released after several weeks. Nana Adodankwa Akufuado did not touch the vehicles. Eight years ago, President Kofo Saloon vehicles, which he assumed had been figured into his retirement package, were confiscated by NDC for soldiers. Ladies and gentlemen, for over four years now, Mr. Kofi Potofi and his group have sought to create the impression that the invisible forces are a creation of His Excellency Anna Adodankwa Akufu Ado. That Nana Kufu Ado is a man of violence. They have not had bias. Same minds do not listen to them. And yet, that is the frolic they have chosen. The invisible forces existed long before His Excellency Nana Akufu Ado came to be elected as the party's presidential candidate. On the seizures of public properties by alleged supporters of the MPP, Nana Obribwahim said the party condemns any attacks on anyone and any public property. Let me state that the MPP has formally condemned any act of lawlessness and we do so unreservedly. We welcome the police services determination to act decisively in any spirit of lawlessness. However, you remind the police under Mr. John Kudalo that they cannot suddenly discover themselves only when events involve suspected MPP supporters and sympathizers. We demand even handedness from the police. Crime has no expiry date, and we await what their response will be in these cases, which we have recounted among several others. Nana Obribwahin, however, appealed to the supporters of the MPP to remain calm and allow the government to take the needed steps to protect all public properties and installations. 